YouTube was popping. Y'all already know who this is. Your boy, G.A. So, I got a milkman, milkman, you yeah, that's me. Anyway, let's begin. We got the camo snapback. I ain't gonna say OG because, of course, it's gonna come out release day and everything in that nature. So, we got the camo snapback. Definitely, we'll be adding this to the collection. And we're gonna add some other hats to the collection as well. But, we're just trying to build. All right? It's called 1804 The Collection for a reason, people. Y'all see what's good. Of course, Devon Feminine. Of course, McGuin Eve. Y'all already see what's popping with that. And I think she might have some stuff for men. I told you it's unisex, but stuff specifically for men coming up. Stay tuned. And come on now, the hoodie. The hoodie. Yeah. As y'all can see here, the details from the aglets. Gold. You know what I mean? Hitting pretty good. Hitting really good. And that's the vibe. And you see why I'm rocking this outfit today, of course. You see the title. Eh, you get the vibe. But let's begin because it's probably one of my most pressured LeBron, like most prized LeBron, excuse me. And I'm saying that because I watched my mans win the championship in these bad boys. Let me show you, because they usually, you know what I mean? I do the whole outfit thing, but let's begin, because actually, the joggers, I'm, I'm not worried about them, because I'm not going to add them just yet. Let me do research on these bad boys. I will get the blank nights. Trust and believe, people. But come on, y'all. The Nike LeBron Soldier 10s. Definitely, uh, if you're a LeBron fan, um, shout out to Say With Your Kicks. Um, definitely, definitely go when it comes to LeBron fans as well. This silhouette, y'all, I just, when you watch your favorite, y'all know Allen Iverson is my favorite player of all time. Shout out to AI, the answer. But I never was able to see him win a championship. That's a fact. So the fact that I watched LeBron won the championship and I saw the blog and everything, that famous uh, Iguodala blog, shout out to Iguodala is where the OG in the game. Um, it was phenomenal, y'all. I can't describe it. It was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. It was one of those things that, um, well done. Job well done, you know. Um, as y'all can see, the back pull tab I had to rip it because it's still there. Because unfortunately, I was trying to put it on the other day after doing this, this vid, and I had to switch it up. So that's what y'all saw. I think my mistake in the Air Jordan 5 Raging Bulls 2.0. I just was not even trying to bother with that. You know what I'm saying? Gold head's pretty nice. Still, still fly. Where are your sneakers, people? You know the bottom and the iced out bottom? It's cool. But with the gold and everything else, I don't mind the aging. I don't mind the aging one single bit. And you know what I'm saying? Watching that and also watching him with the... Actually, that's when I did the... Excuse me. I did the um, LeBron... 18 excuse me sisterhood not the not the um air jordan fives excuse me so that's why i had to bring it back here because like i said this is definitely a prominent shoe for me in my collection especially with my man's wearing the championship you know option b's too i don't give a fuck because if y'all know the option um the um retail excuse me nike the lebron sign hold on let me show y'all what's up here supposed to be white if you get you know it's a nike by you type but i'm getting it you know what i'm saying through my man's in them you can see the vibe. This is actually where how LeBron had his gold. So, know what you're getting, know what you're spending, and definitely know where y'all getting it from, people. For real, for real. That's why I've been saying that. It's not going to be long at all with this vid. just want to get this vid out the way so we really can keep on going. All right, yeah, I think y'all get the whole gist of everything. Definitely wear it true to size. For my narrow footers, if you're a wide footer, I will say go half a size. That's a fact. That's a huge fact. And I know right now, of course, with the new LeBrons coming out, I know he has now the um, 19s. I got to get that Space Jam, the one he rocked um, the other day. I got to get him. I got to get him. They will be here in the collection for sure, for sure, before the end of the year. I don't even care. We are stepping away, but there are some silhouettes for show. I will try to get before that. If not, then we will work it on next year, but it's going to be basically about coordinates and timing because we got more brandings and more stuff that has to be done. We got to pay some stuff off and really get back to par. Yeah, so 
Let's just send this vid off here. You know what I'm saying? Like this way. The LeBron. Nike LeBron Soldier 10s. You know what I mean? Definitely, like I said, a prominent silhouette in my collection. And any to LeBron fan. Any like day one LeBron fan know the vibe of this. Um, you can't go wrong with these bad boys. A classic, classic, real talk to me. Um, because he won his first championship. And it hits it hits different when you see that, watching it, and seeing your man's get the championship and everything else. So salute to LeBron. Um, for doing what he's doing. Um, I'm hoping my man Kyrie get back in the game. That has been speculation too. I know that I'm just throwing up random news, but Kyrie, I know the Kyrie LeBron, those, those two, two of my mans, they each have their own perspective and own, um, I have respect for them in different a assets, if you get my whole point. Um, so one thing I can and will say before we end this off, y'all, when you are basically trying to move up and elevate yourself sometimes people you got to realize you um you can hinder yourself you could build yourself and rebuild yourself and i learned that with those two players like i said and i'm gonna end this off here they both done that in their own ways and i appreciate how each one is representing on um, being a man, especially being a black man in this country. So for me, I can say shout out to King LeBron and shout out to Kyrie Irving, two probably more influential players in my liking. You know what I'm saying? For me, not everybody's rocking with Kyrie, not everybody's rocking with LeBron. I get it. But for me, these two guys here, I respect what they have done. I respect what they are doing. I respect what they're going to do. And shout out for real, for real. Um, Real talk, y'all. Shout out to um, King James. Shout out to him. Shout out to Kyrie. Shout out to him. Shout out to the old NBA, for real. Because y'all know how last year was. It was crazy. Now, it's like this now. I'm glad. And hold up, hold up, hold up. Before I go, shout out to my point guard, Trey Young. You heard? Atlanta Hawks. But listen, let me get going. Y'all just wanted to say that. Ended off that way. Y'all see what's good here, of course. Devon Feminine from Queen Eve. Y'all see what's popping and men. I will have certain stuff down the line, all right? Like I said, this is all unisex, okay? Not just a woman, woman's jewelry, no. You can rock this too, man, all right? If you're insecure about yourself, look in the mirror. Check yourself up, you heard? Chin up, chest the fuck out, you heard? Ten toes down and get like that. We out, salutes.